Welcome back to Power Lunch. Markets are trying to end the quarter on a high note, but with all the headwinds from the shutdown to rising bond yields, interest in alternative assets like gold is growing. Our next guest has a great pulse on the retail investor. Here for a Power Lunch exclusive is Vlad Tenev, Robinhood's founder and CEO, joining us from Robinhood headquarters in Menlo Park, California, with our very own Kate Rooney. Kate? Hi, Kelly. Thank you so much. And Vlad, thanks so much for having us. It's great to see you in person. Thanks for coming down here. Always a pleasure. So Robinhood is coming up on a 10-year anniversary. This company, a lot has changed in the time that you founded this company, especially in the last two years. The macro backdrop has changed. Retail traders have slowed down significantly. This company really was built on the foundation of individual traders. That's dried up in a lot of ways. How should investors think about the next 10 years for Robinhood, and what's your game plan when really the, the market has changed so drastically? Well, we've always had the long-term vision, not just of being a trading app, but being the best place for customers to manage their finances holistically. And, you know, during COVID, we went through a period of exceptional growth, and we were known in the press and media for individual trading. But if you look at the products and the opportunity, I think Robinhood's just very much in the beginning. There's a gigantic financial services industry that's waiting to be disrupted beyond just investing and trading. And you're seeing that with our entry into products like retirement, where we're offering a 1% match, 3% match on contributions if you're on a gold, uh, if you're a gold customer, along with 4.9% APY on uninvested cash. So, so these products both have allowed us to adapt to the new environment and give customers incredible value in a high rate environment while also moving Robinhood along on our long term journey of actually being the best place to hold all of your assets and, and all of your cash. Is that going to drive shareholder value? The stock is below 10 bucks. It was trading not that long ago above 40. How are you thinking about recapturing some of that growth and is financial services enough of an opportunity in terms of margins and just getting back to really the heyday of Robinhood we think about when you went public? Yeah, I mean, um, obviously, interest rates have had an effect on the overall valuation picture, uh, not just for Robinhood, but, but for fintech and, and growth stocks in general. And what's exciting for me is that we're very much at the be beginning of the journey here. I mean, Robinhood is still only in the U.S., and we're doing, uh, we have ambitious plans to be all over the world. And expand internationally as a software company, not as a brick and mortar institution. Um, we we want to build these deep relationships with customers and have them trust us with their retirement savings. And our retirement product just crossed a billion in assets. Of course, that's pretty incredible growth in just a few months. But if you look at how big the retirement industry is in the US, there's tens of trillions of assets there. So. As we look towards the future, we think we've barely gotten started. I think that Robinhood has much, much more growth left to do. So and Kelly's got a question for you, Vlad. Kate, thank you. And Vlad, yes, it's hey, Kelly. Kelly here. And appreciate, you know, kind of going from being the meme stock platform to helping people save for retirement is probably a, a service to society. So thank you. But I, my question is about credit cards. Um, what are your plans in this realm? How big and important a business line could this be? And do you worry about getting into the business at the peak of the cycle? We're very excited about credit cards. We think that that's an industry and a market that is waiting to be disrupted as well. Um, if you look at the space right now, if you are a high net worth individual, someone with millions of dollars in your bank account, you actually have access to great credit, great rewards, great perks, um, excellent quality cards. But for the vast majority of people, those services are inaccessible. So we were proud to have acquired a company, X1, with a very, very motivated team, excellent product people. And I think the DNA is right for us to partner together and deliver a great Robinhood credit card for customers. So um, I'm excited to, to show that to you guys when it's live. But uh, I, think, I think we've got something very special in the works.